Hey everybody, what's up? We're back for segment two, episode two, however you want to do it, but this is number two on uh, our little trip and walk. Well, it's not little. It's going to be a big trip and walk down memory lane of ECW. Um, we kicked it off with our uh, debut of ECW television, Eastern Championship Wrestling, the very first match, the opening segment, which was Terry Funk and Eddie Gilbert. Which led into the opening match, which was myself. So go back and watch episode one. But more importantly, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave comments, uh, you know, ask questions, whatever. But subscribe, 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 subscribe to the channel. Let's build it up. Let's uh, keep the ECW spirit alive. And follow me on this little ride to where we turn extreme and have a lot of fun with that as well. So, all right, so this next segment, all I know is where I left off, it was something about the Sandman. So I don't know what it is, but this is the original Sandman. This is not the Sandman that everybody knew uh, with the cane and T-shirt and jeans and drinking beer. This was Mr. Sandman, it started out as where he used to come out to the ring with a surfboard, the uh, the wetsuit, like he was an LA guy, LA surfer, Hollywood, you know, style surfer with the bleach blonde hair. Um, so we're going to see this and um, watch what it was because <laughs> I, I don't remember this at all. So it's going to be pretty funny. So here we go. Let's hit play. So, all right, so as you can tell, all these clips are not from ECW or Eastern Championship Wrestling. Um, as soon as I started seeing this, I was like, oh, that's right. Um, I was going to say Hack, which many of you know, that was his nickname. Uh, Sammy's nickname was Hack. Uh, Hack uh, had, before this, had did a uh, couple-week little tour, run, whatever you want to call it, down in uh, Memphis Wrestling. So that's what this was from. So let, let's uh, let's keep watching and see more of this. But it, it's funny seeing hack because it's you know he's wrestling. He could wrestle, and something many people don't know about hack was, and there he is with Jerry Lawler, but he didn't start wrestling school and training i think he was 29 years old which you know that's that's old nothing for nothing to start in the wrestling business at 29 but he had a you know he had a great build to him a good look good size and he he had that potential and he had something there but when he changed that gimmick to uh, the gimmick became a shoot of what he really is. He truly was comfortable in his own skin at that point. How bad is this music? So bad. So, so bad. It's like that cheesy royalty free music that WWE plays, you know, for this stuff now. That's what it is. So bad. None of that music helps any of the calls for anything. <laughs> Just by them doing this video, too, you knew they were going to give uh, give Sandman a, a big push. Because this is a big, you know, I mean, this is a big segment. Oh, he, he, I didn't even realize at that point he was the heavyweight champion. Oh, the big TV title tournament. Tommy Cairo. Okay. 
I want to talk to you a minute. This is Tommy Cairo here. Tommy Cairo is undefeated in the ECW. I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much, Terry. Sports Channel and ECW. That's the winning tag team combination. The Iron Man is here. When he comes to town, sooner or later, baby, everybody else goes down. Yeah. I like that kind of attitude. I Tom hey, so to Tommy was um, another great guy. Great guy. We had a lot of fun in the in the locker room. Um, and he was getting a push as well. But maybe if somebody watching this can tell me, I had just recently seen on Facebook in the last few weeks, he was not in good health. I'm not friends with him on Facebook, but um, you know, I'm praying that he's okay and everything's all right. Tommy was always a great guy, so I hope uh whatever that he was going through is all better now and he's doing well. So uh, prayers for Tommy regardless and hope uh, hope he's good. And I'm really excited to see. So Tommy's opponent here is uh, Sal Balomo, who, you know, like I talked about in the first episode with AJ Petruzzi, was a guy who I would see uh, every week on WWF TV as a teenager growing up. Sal Balomo was another one of those guys. But Sal then in the in the early 80s was very clean cut. And now he had this whole new gimmick and persona with the crazy hair, almost looking like Bruiser Brody, just a smaller version. Um, and with him, you can see there, let me uh, blow the screen up a little bit so you can see right here, uh, the great Cosmic Commander, my good friend Howard, um, which if, if you don't know, sadly, Howard passed away, I think it was like seven, eight years ago in a motorcycle accident. Um Another great, great guy. He was a good friend of mine. Um, yeah, I, I, I miss him dearly. As a matter of fact, uh, let me show you real quick before we continue. Howard used to own a tattoo shop, Cadillac Tattoo and Maniunk. And he used to tattoo a lot of the guys. Uh, he tattooed New Jack quite often and some others. I forget who. But ha Howard, his name was Howard. Howard had to do this uh, for me. I, I'm a Corvette nut and... Back at the time in ECW, I had um, my second Corvette that I've owned in my life. And I had gotten the Corvette flags done. And so Howard had did that for me. So thank you, Howard. I love you, man. Miss you freaking dearly, dude. Miss you dearly. So, all right. So let's uh, let's continue. Let's hit play. Let's see what goes on with this match. Tommy Cairo. Tommy Cairo. Terry Funk. Wrestling fan. in one building. This match Woo! is for the ECW television title tournament it is a first round match first i would like to introduce the manager the cosmic commander all right i i just gotta pause real quick because i just gotta give props to the one and only bob artis legendary ring announcer um everybody knows from especially extreme championship wrestling bob and his wife Lex, love them. Um, such a vital, vital, important part in the history of Philadelphia wrestling with uh, Tri State Wrestling Alliance before this, with Eastern Championship Wrestling, Extreme Championship Wrestling, and the federation I was running, Liberty All Star Wrestling. Very, very important piece to a puzzle in the Philadelphia area community of wrestling. So, all right, let's let's push play. Introducing from Italy, he weighs 263 pounds, wild man Salvatore Palomo. <coughs> All right, fans, here we go. His with opponent, the first hailing from Mystic Isle, New Jersey, he weighs 245 pounds. Undefeated in ECW competition, the Iron Man, Tommy Tyro. I'm so excited about this TV tournament. Sorry, I jumped the gun there, guys. Tommy Cairo, the number four seed in the TV title tournament. Wild Man Sal, the number six seed. Right off the bat, here we go, Terry Funk. 
You know, I was talking to Tommy Cairo earlier, and I'll tell you what, he's very excited about this match. He's very excited about this new ECW television show, and he wants to make a splash today. He started out with a beautiful arm drag on Sal Belomo. Let's see what he can do now. Well, what he's done so far is Tommy Cairo is undefeated since being in the ECW, which is a pretty remarkable feat, if I do say so myself. You know, I don't know what that really means, though, undefeated, you know, in the ECW, and I know it means something. I know it's important, but it depends on who is undefeated. You know, my mother's never wrestled in the ECW either. No. Well, we'll put she your mother would be in, in a certain here. category by herself. Yeah. But in this category, Tommy Cairo has taken on some of the top guys and beaten them all. He's never had his shoulders put to the mat, one, two, three. As I said, undefeated in the ECW. Big test of strength there, fans. Tommy Cairo overpowering Sal Belomo. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. Well, I, I think I'd rather be in my ring. I'd rather be in the ring with uh, Tommy or uh, I, I certainly won't, won't, wouldn't want to be in the ring. It, it, <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny to me just, just watching this because – it's still hard to believe, for me, that's Sal Belomo. Because uh, I just picture that Sal Belomo from 1983-84, and he was just so clean cut with the real short hair. And I, I, honest to God, I used to sit in the locker room and would talk with Sal and, and have a ball. God rest his soul. He, he was such a, a funny guy. And I would, I, I would he probably caught me staring at him, but I would stare at him. And try to like picture is that guy I used to watch on TV as a kid? Is he under all the hair, like the facial hair and the long hair? Like, I st even watching this today, I still kind of like, where is he? Is he under there? I can't, I can't find him. <laughs> it's just hysterical. <laughs> and, and let me give another quick shout out. Uh, our referee for this match is Gigolo Joe Zanoli, um, who many might know now. He, uh, he runs uh, the ECWA, which is running shows in the Jersey, Delaware area. Um, he's been, he was the booker for them for a while, and he's completely taken over the organization, I guess, about two years ago. So shout out to Gigolo Joe, another, another great guy in uh, my world of pro wrestling. Same with my mother. She's awful mean. I'll, st I'll keep away from that one, Terry. Well, before you two cut me off, I was about to say that I predict right now that Cairo's undefeated streak will end right Whoa. now. Nice arm drag by Sal Belomo. That really was. Very nice arm drag into yeah. an overhead wrist lock right there. Salvador Belomo has a lot of wrestling ability. He really does. You know? Sal's a grizzled veteran in the Mat Wars. He's been around a long time. And I wonder what effect that Cosmic Commander is going to have on this match. Well, there again, you had that intimidation factor, and you also have the always important intangible. It's like the home field advantage. What'd you say, Terry Funk? That's right. I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't want to wake up in the morning uh, and roll over and see Salvador Belomo in bed with me. I'll guarantee you that for sure. <laughs> or the cosmic commander, for that matter. Yeah, but, yeah, but that, Better than Tommy Cairo, wouldn't you say, guys? Uh, I don't All know. right, let's get back to the action here. Tommy nice Cairo. arm drag. Beautiful arm drag right there. Caught him with an elbow. Cairo's very aggressive. aggressive. That wasn't an arm drag. Very, Just, very aggressive absolutely. Man. I'm sure you've all caught that. Combines the power along with the aerial skills and the wrestling oh. ability. One of the top competitors here in the ECW. And as Stevie's mentioned several times, that's why he's undefeated so far in the ECW. But I also mentioned that I think he's going to suffer his first defeat right here against Wild Man Sal. What are you thinking at, Funk? What are you thinking at? That's the Wild Man! Salvatore Belomo! That's what you're looking at, no. Funk! I Cosmic Commander. Ways, about a buck old five. <laughs> you gotta love that coat. <laughs> I was kind of admiring the turban and the jewelry myself. But. Well, I didn't want to go overboard, but I like them, too. The Cosmic Commander. He was very proud of his uh, thrift now, store finds back rope. then. Had a rear chin lock on uh, Tommy Cairo. Back to a rake of the eyes. That's got a sting. Another one. Oh, uh, nice headbutt. Big, big boot to the stomach. Big driving forearms. Tommy turned him around. He's on top of him. Throwing those rights right now. Oh, driving up that rope. There he goes. Kyra was not supposed to be on the ropes, Terry Funk. 
late. Oh, the oh. Now Balomo gets the big boot to the jaw of Tommy Cairo. That the cover. Be. A quick two count there, fans. I thought that it was a little quick, too. You know, Balomo's good and everything, but he's got to hook the leg. He's using that weight advantage right now to keep Tommy Cairo down to the mat. It's like a pull of the trunks from my angle. I don't see nothing. You turn Yeah. Well, yeah, I, the I saw thing the tie right then. I, I'm pretty well, sure that's I what's saw going on in the ring, okay? Like, I, I was thinking to myself, like, bad camera angle work, too. Sal Balamo, another big headbutt. A couple right hands by Tommy Cairo. Flying body press. One, two. Sal Balamo kicks out at two. I keep waiting to see what the finish is, and I'm, like, saying to myself already, it's going to be a bad finish. Up on the ring apron, distracting the referee. Oh, here we got, here we got Johnny Hotbody down here at ringside. Hey, oh, here we go. Here we go. What's he doing down here? I don't know. Johnny Hotbody, I didn't know he was had an alliance with either one of these wrestlers. He seems to be motioning to Sal Balomo. There it goes. He's helping Balomo. Oh, off the top rope, Johnny Hotbody. Sal Balomo right out of the ring, and he's down. Tommy Cairo should be disqualified right now. There's a three count. That was outside interference. Like, what, what's... Be, this is ridiculous. Referee Joe Zanoli making the count. He's got a ten count to get back in the ring, fans. Yeah, what's... He's this is... Seven. Will Sal be able to make it back in time? There it is, fans. What? Unbelievable. Sal Balomo counted out of the ring. Tommy Cairo. Tommy Cairo got that match and won it right there. And he remains undefeated in Eastern oh, Championship he's Wrestling. Here comes Johnny Hotbody. Hotbody hot hot oh. from behind. Hotbody's going up onto the top rope. It looks that way to me. He's fixing to come up on Cairo. Oh. Missed Cairo the big elbow drop. Big elbow. Cairo's back down. Hotbody's up. Uh-oh, he better get out of there now. Terry's doing a great job of Tommy calling Cairo it. clears the ring of Johnny Hotbody. Blatant interference wow. on the part of Johnny Hotbody, Tommy Cairo. Like, I, I just honestly, like, that was such a horrible, horrible finish. Like, right, right there it tells you that they wanted Tommy to stay undefeated. They wanted him taking a pin. And also, too, they didn't want Sal taking a pin. Why? Like, what was the re like they I know they still wanted him to look strong, but it wouldn't have mattered if he took the pin. Like you had Hot Body come in and uh screw up and, and hit Sal, and Tommy could have just rolled up Sal Baloma and got a one, two, three quick pin and ran out and boom. It it, it made that such a Horrible, horrible finish. And now I, I don't, uh, at this point, no, Gil, Gilbert was doing the booking because Eddie was so, I was going to say, was it Larry Winter still? But no, no, it was Eddie Gilbert. So just a horrible finish. I don't know what they were thinking. Bad, bad, bad. So, all right. So, <laughs> There's another episode in the books. Uh, come back. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got more uh, stuff coming up. Let me let me just hit play and play this out and see what's going on here, just to make sure. Should be disqualified though. All right. So there you go. There, there's your your brackets for the TV tournament. Tommy Cairo advanced. So next match, it'll be one of these. Will be uh, Gilbert versus JT, Osborne versus Hotbody, Snooker versus Winners. Uh, you're going to have to um, stay tuned for the next episode and see where we end up because we're going to pick up exactly where we left off. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come back. Next episode will be up in a few days. Stay tuned.